Korea will take more active steps to help the nation's ailing shipping and shipbuilding industries. Lenders will regularly review progress of restructuring plans that are submitted by shipping lines and builders. All this to breathe life back into the country's sluggish economy. Kim min has more. The Financial Services Commission is urging stakeholders to take a stronger approach to restructuring Korea's traditional core industries. Business conditions are deteriorating structurally in industries such as shipbuilding and shipping, and the situation is not likely to clear up soon. Our task is to either root out low-performance companies or support them to ensure they remain competitive. The financial regulator is looking at strict restructuring, especially for shipbuilders and shipping firms. Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering, for one, has been advised to reduce wages and jobs on top of the over 700 positions it already cut. Creditors have been asked to get Hyundai Heavy Industries and Samsung Heavy Industries to also come up with self-rescue plans. The FSC has also called on the debt-ridden shipping sector to complete renegotiations with ship owners to reduce their charter rates by next month. If they fail to do so, creditors may have no choice but to put them under court receivership. It remains to be seen whether efforts at the government level will work. These industries are in state where restructuring is inevitable. Companies may initially push back, but if it helps strengthen their competitiveness, drive down costs and create synergy through mergers, it could produce good results. The Financial Services Commission also announced a plan to limit the fallout from its restructuring scheme. It vowed to expand the assets of state-run banks and come up with measures to support workers who are laid off. The regulator says it will implement a three-tier plan that will start with the restructuring of industries most affected by current economic conditions, then cover companies or sectors suffering from oversupply and credit risks. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.